Aloha from Texas. Welcome to the channel everybody. Thanks for coming back. Today we're going to jump right into it. As you know, I have been carrying a 945 Industries bag like this for quite some time. I love that bag, but it doesn't offer me the flexibility that I always want. Sometimes I just want to put my gun on and go because that's the main idea of the 945 Industries bag. I could just sling it and run. Well, it's not always what I want because Having a bag, yes, it draws a little bit of attention to yourself. Not as much these days as it used to, but I just want the flexibility to not have a bag. And I know those are simple little things that we, you know, we take for granted. Like, oh, I don't want this, I want that. Well, why do we all have multiple holsters? Why do we all have multiple guns? Because we can. So today we're gonna to talk about a new product that I'm trying out. It is not sent to me, it's not been given to me. The company has no idea I'm doing this but it is a product called The Bridge from Conceal Craft. And I needed to wear a gun, whether I'm dressed like this, or this, but mostly this. So I'm gonna get some uh, jostling around on the camera done off camera, off, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see, but I am actually wearing that gun and that belt right now. If you're a gun guy, you're gonna know that I'm have that I have a gun on. It's you're you just know these things. We look for these things in other people. We notice like, oh, you're a gun guy because I can tell that you're wearing because the way you're postured, the way you're holding your belt, maybe adjust your belt or whatever. But I am in gym clothes and I am wearing a gun. It's a Sig P365X Macro Tac Ops, and I'm carrying an extra magazine. If you're a gun guy, you already see it. Right there. Here's the butt. There's a clip for the holster. It is right there. And these are, you know, these are running shorts. They're short. They're really light. But this is what that product allows me to do. Just like that. Whether I'm in nice, actual clothing, like business attire, or I'm in gym clothes like this, which I am most of the time, you can't really complain about that. And so that's why I like it. I'm gonna take you in on the table, get you a little bit better up front, up close view of this product. So we're just gonna go over this real quick. This is the bridge. Um, I will take everything off of it, show you how it comes. And maybe you'll understand why I like it so much. It feels like 500D Cordura, could be 250. Might be misleading because it's got Velcro. This is the loop portion, the soft portion on the inside. It is on both sides on the insides. At some point, if I figure out exactly where I want to place this, then I could put some Velcro here, maybe on the back a little bit, and it will hold it in place and I won't have to slide it anywhere. But if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that comes all the way off. I, I'm like a week and a half into this thing, but I love it so much. Excuse my SIG cross barrel there. I love it so much that this is all I'm carrying right now. This strap is not super stiff, so it'll conform to your body. It's got the hook portion, the sticky portion of the Velcro here, soft portion here. Comes in numerous colors. So this opens up. You can Velcro your stuff in here. For instance, you can buy a mag holder. And it's literally just stretchy material with the hook portion of the Velcro. Um, I did find that I was wearing this uh, mag upright just as a comfort note but it kept jabbing into me. As soon as I canted it like this, actually like that because I draw and my mag's ready to go. As soon as I canted it in that manner, it was much more comfortable to sit in the car, things like that. The buckle is pretty good. I don't see, I think it's a, yeah, it's a YKK. It actually says it right inside there. Um, seems pretty robust, seems pretty strong, but Really, it's just sitting around your waist, so it's not that big of a deal. I really thought I wouldn't like this sitting on my body, but I don't really notice it. It also has a strap keeper. I didn't trim this because I, I didn't know if I was gonna keep it or not, but you see how much leeway it has in here. There's a lot of extra webbing in here, so if you're a bigger fella, you're good. Um, I wear th size 36 pants, and they're they're about fitted. They're not baggy, but they're not super loose either. Or, excuse, that's the same thing, isn't it? Okay, they're not baggy, but they're not tight. They're just about right and I can still fit a gun in my 36 inch pants. Back, uneventful. This is the part that sits up against you. Um, not that big of a deal. There's nothing really to report there. You know, this is such a simple product. I, I almost didn't want to make a video on it because it's so simple. To put the gun in, if you have the pillow or not, 
you just grab your clips, insert it in there. You can put your clips over the top of that. If I don't want it, pull it on my shorts at all. I would actually just put my shorts over the top of that, but generally I'll put this on my shorts and it'll support it even more. One of the cool things that I think is a feature and why it's probably called the bridge, when it is against your body, there is that cavity in there. Um, as a note also, you can buy a tourniquet holder just like this. Um, you can buy one that comes with the pistol mag holder. It'll fill a lot of that space, but what that, what that piece does or that separation does here in my mind, it doesn't make big dips in your clothing so people can say, this fool's got a gun. So it keeps it more flat, it keeps it more concealable. Other than that, stitching's great, construction's more than adequate, I think it's great. It's $35, man, that's all this costs. 35 bucks, you can get whatever colors you want that they offer, there's a number of them. Throw on your holster that you already use, this doesn't require anything special. Um, I think I could probably find a different option, but I think this was $12 to hold the mag, so. Other than that, you know, I feel like it's a, a cost savings over some of the other options out there. So the last thing about this carry option is how easy is it to draw? We are clear, there's nothing going on here. Sometimes you pinch your belly putting it back in, but that's just how it is when you're a little bit fat. Just like any other appendix carry, you're gonna wanna grab a shirt and you can draw and present. It's really not that much slower than anything else. It's still appendix. I use a typical appendix holster, so it's not any different. Um, I think this is from Vetter, but it's the, a little pillow, a wedge pillow, which for me, it made the biggest difference in the world because my belly would sit here and the gun would stick out. As soon as I put that pillow in, pillow in there, it drove the top of the gun towards my belly and the butt of the gun more in, so it is more concealable. This is how hard it is to put in. You find the divide between the uh, Velcro pieces and you just slide that in. Not any more difficult than any other facet of appendix carry. Magazine sitting right next to it, as seen previously. It's a good option. If you're looking for something more affordable, something more um, flexible, I think this is a really good option for you guys that are just kind of in between, like, I love this, but I don't wear it well, or I don't really like this, but I wear it well. I think this is gonna bridge the gap between that. See what I did? It's called the bridge. Stay tactical.